Hi guys, I'm Jay with Jay's Everyday Fashion and today we're visiting Colleen, a young dynamic professional who needs help finding outfits for her unique job and lifestyle. The goal for today is to provide her with some tips and tricks to help her along on her fashion journey. So come on in. Hi, I'm Colleen Burns and I am the Orlando Community Manager for Yelp. Basically with my job, it's more of a lifestyle role. I'm always on the go from morning, noon, and night. I just bounce from meeting to happy hours to events at various different places from bars to restaurants to art openings. Basically anywhere the city's taking me. Anything that's going on during the day, some festivals during the weekend. Um, I have presentations to business owners and I just hang out with my Yelpers a bunch, so basically always on the go. I also really am involved with sports. I love writing about sports, attending sporting events, everything from soccer games to Orlando Magic games. I'm a really big Orlando Magic fan. I love to take my girls out to the games. Um, I also love art a whole lot. I like getting my hands dirty, making my own art, checking out the Orlando art scene. I definitely love shopping, so this is going to be awesome. I'm so excited. Hey, Colleen. Hey, Jay. Thank you so much for having me today. Absolutely. Thank you for coming. Why don't we start off by just having you tell me a little bit more about why you reached out to me. Well, basically, I started following your blog right when you started. I just loved what you were doing with the mixing and matching. Um, especially all the belts and mm -hmm. how you belt the cardigans and how you tuck a lot. Um, I just don't really know how to do all that with the outfits that I have. And my job, basically, um, I'm out every night uh, okay. going to all sorts of different events. Um, so with my limited wardrobe, I want it to look like I have more of a range with what I already have than, you know, spending all the money on different pieces when I already have stuff I could work with. That is definitely a very common problem, something we can totally work on today. Great. I'm just going to ask you a few questions about your style to kind of get a feel for the things that you like and don't like. Okay. So my first question is, how would you describe your style currently? Currently? Um, I would definitely have to go with somewhat confused. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what would be kind of your ideal style? My ideal style? Well, I love comfort. So um, okay. I just want to feel good in the clothes, but I also want to look sexy. So some kind of comfort, sexy look, if that even exists. I think it does. We can, we can work on it. <laughs> okay, definitely. Good. That's your blue sky. So yes. we can work for that. So if you had to pick kind of a couple celebrities whose style you really like, who would you go with? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I'm really digging Kelly Osborne now, okay. the more recent. More um, recent, okay. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> she's stepped up her game. Yeah. Um, she just looks always uh, on par, very posh. Um, I just love her outfits that she puts together. Um, definitely the Kardashians, too. I know that's very cliche, but I just, I'm hey, hooked. why not? You know? You're a hot brunette, too. Let's <laughs> hey. go for it. I love it. <laughs> okay, so what would you say are some items that you're missing in your closet? Like, what do you need to add? Um, I have a ton of dresses. Okay. Um, I don't have a ton of skirts. I would definitely love skirts and just knowing how to pair and match them. And I, I have belts, but like I said, um, the way you use them, I don't even attempt it. Okay. So if I could just <laughs> learn how to use the belts to accessorize sure. um, and make outfits look different, that would be awesome too. That sounds great. So I think what we should do is have you put on three different outfits. Okay that kind of summarize what you would wear to a Yelp event or just in your daily life. Okay. And uh, we'll start there. So why don't you go put on the first outfit? Great, okay. All right. This is my go-to casual outfit. It's got sturdy, reliable jeans, comfy boots. Basically, uh, I wake up in the morning and I can put this on and go throughout my whole day. Okay. I have coffee meetings in the morning. I can go to my lunchtime presentation and then maybe a magic game at night. But I think it's just kind of too bland. I think it's just okay. like, okay, yeah, she just woke up and threw something on. It's kind of just like my go-to dress. Okay. <laughs> um, I feel really comfortable in this. Gives me room to move around, which is comfortable, basically. Um, and I know it's every time I put this dress on, um, it's like, oh, there's Colleen wearing another dress. Like she did a lot of work putting that outfit together, you know? 
these are just my go-to stretch pants leggings whatever you want to call them they feel really comfortable so i can move easily in them and then i have again the flowy top still kind of catches at the curvy areas so i feel like it looks a little bit sexiness to it yeah. um but i guess i just want a little bit variety or a different version of this <laughs> So based on the three outfits we saw, I think our shopping plan for today is definitely to focus on separates. I think we can add a few pieces that will really help optimize the pieces that you already have. Okay. So I think it'd be great if we could find some fun tops to sort of spice up your jeans. I think um, we could find maybe a printed skirt that is similar to the dress you had, but then you can wear it with all different kinds of tops in, in different ways, and it looks like a, you know, a totally different outfit. That would be great. And then I think for your last outfit, maybe in, in place of the leggings, we could do like a solid colored skirt that again, you could wear with tons of different things and really get more mileage out of what you already have. So awesome. are you ready to go shopping? Yes, I am. you here to sell Luca in Winter Park. This is one of my favorite boutiques in Orlando because it's affordable, which is awesome. Everything's under $100. And I think for your Yelp events, it makes a lot of sense. It's The clothes aren't too dressy, but they're also a step up from like a sundress. Okay. Um, and I also, I just think it's going to be the perfect fit for your events. So basically our game plan for today is just that we're going to remember our to-do list and okay. what we came up with are the things we want to work on. Mm -hmm. But I also want you to let yourself kind of naturally nap go towards the things that you love. I okay. think a good closet is a mix of both the things you love and the things you need. So I think I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm excited. too. It looks awesome just from the outside. So All right, let's, let's do go. this. So we've got you all set up. We have your your bottoms here okay. because that's one of our big priorities today. Okay. And then we have your tops over here so we can kind of try some of them together. Perfect. And I'm going to hold on to your dresses for now because we're going to do this second and we have so much oh literally gosh. bursting at the same time. I know, I'm I can't excited. wait to see. So get started trying stuff on and let me know Perfect. how it goes. All awesome. right. Stella Luca in Winter Park is one of my favorite boutiques in Orlando. I found the owner, Joy, who's going to tell us a little bit more about how this boutique came about. So Joy, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Can you tell us a little bit how Stella Luca got started? Well, five years ago I opened a salon and I slowly started bringing in some accessories and a little bit of clothing and our clients just really liked it. I decided a year ago to open the boutique. The idea behind it is that everything is between $50 and $100 just because I think people like to buy stuff that fun and affordable. For the past three years, we've been voted the best salon in Orlando in Orlando Magazine, and I'm really proud of that. That's great. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. Too much. I like it. I love it. See how it goes out? Yeah, I love that. Fits you really well. Yeah, I like it. I think it's cute. It looks like animalistic. Absolutely like animalistic. Attacked me. And it's this right here is again cinching a perfect spot on your body. Right. So. All right, well, I think we got everything we need. I know we got a ton. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get home and put this stuff with what you already have Absolutely. and make up a ton of new outfits. I know, I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with all of this. All right, well, let's go. Okay, let's do it. All right, so we started out with three outfits. Mm -hmm. 
We went and got you some new stuff. We mostly focused on separates. We yep. got a few skirts. We got a couple printed tops. We got a couple dresses because you love dresses. I and do. That's totally fine. So we got some some good stuff like that, but we mm -hmm. also got some new things that you didn't have. Right. And now we're basically going to just dive right into your closet and make mm -hmm. a bunch of new outfits of the things you got. Sounds good to me. All right, let's go. <laughs> Hey, Colleen, come on out. Your first denim look. Mm -hmm. We put you in a top with a fun print, and it's also a fun shape, mm -hmm. which I love. And it's what flowing. we're doing here, yeah, is that when you have a lot of volume on top, it's definitely best to keep it with a sliver of pant on the bottom. Okay. So that's what we're doing here. We're balancing it out. I like how it's flowy, but then it's still um, kind of tugged, so it gives me a little bit of... Um, that just, womanly shape. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me feel a little bit more sexy, which is good. That's Great. exactly what I asked for, so... I can, definitely a step up from yeah. the t-shirt, which Absolutely. was cute, but this, I think, is a little more feminine and a little more funky. Yeah. All right, great. Let's see another outfit. Okay. Okay, so now we're in another jeans mm. outfit, and this time we've done more of a nighttime look. And I love this top because it cinches your waist, and it's so flattering. And mm -hmm. we did a pop of color in the shoes and the belt. And I just think this is such a fun way to dress up jeans. And I think for morning meetings, you could do, you could lose the color in the belt and just do, like, some flat sandals. Oh, and great. And then add earrings and the shoes for, like, because you could dress that down definitely yeah. for daytime. And then dress it up like this for nighttime. It's just ready to go. Great. Right there. All right, let's go see the third jeans outfit. Okay. All right. Now we're in a third denim look, and I'm really excited because we've actually belted a cardigan here, which is so exciting. We got this floral top at Stella Luca, and we took one of your cardigans that you already had and a mm -hmm. belt that you already had and jeans, shoes that you already had, mm -hmm. and we basically just um, belted it on the, around the outside of the cardigan. This one was really easy because the shirt already has a waistband that's cinched, so okay. we just put the belt directly over where it was cinched, and you're ready to go for a casual look. You can take off the cardigan at night and be a little more dressed up and Great. ready to party. Like fashion magic. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so now we're in a look with a, a just kind of a simple black skirt. Mm -hmm. It's got sort of a casual feel and yet you can really dress it up. It has pockets, yep. which is great. I think you can wear it with tons of different things. And this look, basically, it's kind of just replacing the idea of leggings. Still use leggings all you want, but in this case, you've got a black skirt. It'll yep. do lots for you. So you're looking very office appropriate right now, and yet you're, like, really hot. Because oh. the animal prints, you've got animal print in your wow. shoes. Exactly. <laughs> so I think this could be great for meetings and okay. stuff like that while still looking like yourself. Yeah, I'm so comfortable in this outfit. Good. So. You, you look great. So Colleen, this is the same pink shirt that you showed us earlier when you had worn it with black leggings. Yeah. And this time we just substituted in a black skirt. It's the same black skirt we showed you earlier. It's, you know, it's super casual, it's cotton, so you can wear this same outfit with just some black flats to be casual, but right now we've got you in some sparkly shoes. You yeah. can wear this out to an event. I think you look adorable. Your waist looks tiny. What do you think? Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I can't believe this is the same shirt I wear with leggings. Like, I don't even want to put that outfit back on again. <laughs> well, I definitely think you can wear it with leggings, but this is another way that you can use the same piece. And this black skirt is obviously very versatile. We're putting yeah. it with lots of things. So I'm obsessed with it. I love there it. There you go. All right, let's see another look. Okay. This is our third look with this black skirt, and this wow. time we've paired it with your bright blue shirt and mm -hmm. orange necklace that you had that I immediately loved. Yeah. We also put it with some blue shoes, which is perfect because you're a Magic fan, and I feel like this is, you know, a hot look for a Magic game, and you can also wear it out afterwards, and again, your waist looks really small, and Thank you. I think you look great. <laughs> Okay, so earlier you showed us your go-to dress, mm -hmm. which was a printed bottom and just, you know, it had a basic top to it. But the thing about a dress is it's much harder to mix and match because right. it's just one piece. So basically what I put you in here is a printed skirt. Mm -hmm. So it's the same idea, but this skirt can be worn with tons of different things. For example, I paired it with a big pop of color, a yellow shirt that you already had, yeah. which is really cute, and some flat sandals. And this is like a really funky and fun look for running errands. I mean, you look great. You could almost go to the club in this because you look so cute. <laughs> I love this pattern. So yeah. I probably wouldn't have paired it with this, but now that I see it on, love it. So now I'm going to show you a couple more ways to wear this skirt so we can see how versatile it really is. Great. 
Okay, we're in a second look now with the printed skirt. We're already showing how much more versatile it can be than a dress with the printed bottom. Mm -hmm. So I paired it with this shirt, which I love because it basically has sort of a pattern going on, but it's more of like a visual pattern. Right. And so it's it goes with the skirt but doesn't clash. You've also got some fun design on your shoes and your earrings, and it all kind of pulls it together. I think it's snazzy. I know that's <laughs> a lame word to it. say, but I just feel snazzy. <laughs> All right, Colleen, so this is our third look with this skirt. Yeah. We put you in a black top, kind of made it a little more nighttime, mm -hmm. put you in some cute teal heels, and I think it looks great. It's basically, you know, the same idea, but we're able to mix it up because yep. it is a separate and it's not a dress. So yeah. how do you feel on this one? I feel great. Um, I think my mom would really like this outfit. I don't know why I'm just That's great. channeling right? my inner mother. <laughs> want to make mom um, happy? <laughs> yeah, with a little bit of print. This is something she would definitely want me to wear to church. Nice. Yeah. But still Colleen, because we've got the animal print. And Absolutely. Everything. Okay. All right. So you also got these two dresses yeah. from Sal Luca, which are super cute. And, you know, just because you loved dresses didn't mean we had to stop buying dresses. We just wanted to show you some different ways to make things a little more versatile in your closet. But you've also got these to play around with. You can add different accessories and shoes to make these, you yeah. know, fun and whatnot. I feel much more comfortable throwing on belts now. So Good. I'm glad help. we could help. So. Yeah. Thank you so much oh, again thank you. for today. This was awesome. How do you how are you feeling about everything? I feel really good about everything. Good. I definitely wanna get out there and try my own mixes and matches and, and try I'll, shopping yeah. for separates on your own. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you so much. Oh thank you. Again. It was awesome. <laughs> So that's all for today, guys. Some tips and tricks that you can take home with you. Number one, try dressing up jeans with some fun tops that have a cinched waist to show off your figure, add a cardigan and a belt for a fun look. Number two, if you have a dress with a printed bottom, try getting a skirt with a printed bottom instead and you'll be able to switch that up and use it in different ways. And number three, try investing in a solid colored skirt, such as the black one we showed on Colleen. So many different ways you can wear it. It's unbelievable. You'll get so much more bang for your buck. Definitely the theme for today was separates and just how to maximize your closet. So for daily tips and tricks, check out jayseverydayfashion.com and be sure to tune in next time for Jay's Everyday Fashion The Show here on Eyes on Orlando. It definitely helped out a lot. She just makes you feel really comfortable um, in going you know, out of your comfort zone, um, making you feel really good about pairing up some things you normally wouldn't have paired up and just gives you confidence in, in picking out the fashion sense that is really inside you but you're kind of scared to take out in public. Stella Luca is definitely awesome. I have only been in the smaller version um, in Winter Park Village, so going to the larger store, there was so much more to choose from. The staff was super friendly, um, and there was a lot of different separates, plus you know my comfort zone of the dresses that um, had different patterns than I would have normally bought. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Um, definitely you know, went above and beyond what I thought it was gonna be, and Jay's just really awesome to work with.